going on guys it's your boy Chuck with the BMW and it finally happened dang this weather is crazy right now hold on there we go oh the check engine light is on them too and I looked at it I took it to get a scan and it's the math airflow sensor which sucks, I'm going to get my sunglasses real quick out of this car. Out of Lexi. And you can hear the rough idle too. A little Challenger driving by. Dang man, this temperature change is ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's idling pretty good now. We're going to let it warm up a little bit. But I'm going to take it to go get service real quick. All right, so I got my shades on. We had now got an appointment at eight at Advantage BMW in Midtown. And again, uh, that's one of our stores for Group One, who I work for, where I'm part of. So, damn, you see, it shut off. That math air flow sensor is really fucking me up. Well, at least that's what the scanner says. So hopefully that is the issue. It drove fine the day it happened. I haven't drove, driven it in like a few days. So, I mean, again, it shouldn't shut off. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. Um, but we're certainly going to take a look here. Certainly going to take it in. I got an extended warranty on it. I highly suggest getting that on every used car you buy. Because things like this may happen. It's a 2018 BMW M2 young car it's only got 52 550 on the odometer so there's that man is my finger on the mic again i gotta really remember where the mic is on this thing because sometimes i'll do a video and it's just muffled like crazy because my freaking thumb is in the way because i'm trying to hold this thing oh shoot it said arrival 8 now it says 803 what the heck um i'm driving so i'm a go ahead get to the place see if I can record there or not I'm supposed to look for Edward or Eduardo or something but hopefully it's an easy fix again it's just the map sensor from what the scanner told me so we'll see what those guys find shit the acceleration is just horrible the drive is horrible right now with the map being screwed up and then living in houston that won't make it any better like see people like that oh like literally we just had a few feet we just had a few feet like dude just get behind me it's no big deal but whatever whatever i'm just really trying to keep this car moving so it doesn't shut off on me again again the acceleration on it is just piss poor right now horrible i'm not even trying to get on it right now with the check engine light on so i'm steady cruising and these guys don't like that i'm cruising right now i get it but hey nobody want to be late to work look at this fool look at him look at these guys They're like a couple hundred feet or something and this fool is speeding just to get in front of me like if you're in a sports car i understand i have all the confidence that you can make it but other than that, like you're risking it, <laughs> like for real. But all right, I'm driving. It's very uh, what do you call it? There's a word for it, but I'm, I'm gonna get off now. Again, I'll try and record a little bit when I get there. Irresponsible. Before I forget, it's irresponsible. <laughs> Before I forget the word, irresponsible. I mean, okay, cool. All right, well we're here. Yo, this is so nice. But the one-way streets and all that shit is a joke. I hate that. Over here in Midtown is ridiculous. Oh, Alright, let's get this thing care of. Alright, y'all. I don't know how I didn't see this. Oh, my God, my boy. I think it's time to mod it. Jesus. She gone. Fucking charge pipes. I swear. Rishim's in here nice dude. 
Chip the fit. All right, let's go back out there. All right. Oh man, damn charge pipe. This is nice though. All right, y'all, quick update. Now we're in the Lexus. So obviously I'm back home. BMW is left at the dealership. They will call me on what's uh, what's going on. Pretty sure everything's covered. The advisor even said everything should be good. But now I gotta run. Typical check engine like Jesus, what's up with the Oh yeah, it's hot outside, cold in here. Here, let me get some AC. There we go. Let me detail inside this car. Look at how dirty it is. Typical dailies. But um Yeah, he said everything should be covered, so. Alright. Let's get moving. Before I'm late for my monthly massage appointment. Let's go. And just real quick, I just want to say this is why I always think having a second car, if possible, is always a good idea. Because whether you build a car or you know keep it stock or whatever, things do tend to happen. So I mean, if you don't got rental coverage or anything, it's always good to have a second car. And this thing has 155k miles on it, so that's normal. Okay, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good car. Trust me, it runs smooth, AC, cold as ice. It's cold as ice. But yeah, I always, I always, I think or suggest having a backup car is always a good thing. Always. All right, so I'm driving. Oh, hopefully, I get an update today. He said the latest would be tomorrow afternoon, so we'll see. And the only thing really is I'm pretty sure it's just the charge pipe that's screwed on it. But um, just to make sure it's covered. I'm pretty sure it is. But after seeing, well, after like talking to him and by the way, his name's Eduardo at BMW Momentum. No, Advantage BMW over there in Midtown here in Houston. So go see him if you got a Beamer. But uh yeah like so the the charge pipe right and i thought you know what why fix it here why not just drive it home and then mod it and replace the charge pipe because we all know this thing's plastic which is ridiculous but you know i paid a really really good price on my extended warranty being able to get the employee stuff and all that you know what he told me hell of a deal so i might actually just keep them to stock which yeah i know a lot of people are gonna be like what the heck why do that my bruh but you know man having that extended warranty is you know again that's a lifesaver for sure when things happen if anything because i know you can't touch anything on the engine i could change out the intake the cold air intake cat back exhaust and maybe some different wheels to be honest And you know, the hood, you know, cosmetic stuff. I'm gonna be that guy again. Just change cosmetics. But at least I won't void my warranty and I'll probably run that out. Cause most likely I'm gonna do the miles before the time, but the way that I like to daily it most of the time. So I'll probably run out of miles before I run out of time on that. But um, I may just do that again that way i don't sacrifice my warranty and all that money goes to the gutter right doesn't you know utilize it so but i still want it to look good i want it to look unique i don't want to look like everybody else so it's probably gonna look like other cars for sure i mean i don't know i gotta think of something to make it look different but that's the update hopefully again everything is covered that charge pipe man that sh i, I should have known too i should have known it was that and when i looked under the hood i couldn't see it for some odd reason so that's weird to me too i should have noticed it but again the extended warranty always get on a used car don't touch the engine you won't void the warranty with a cold air intake cat back exhaust that way it sounds good and loud i don't need to replace i mean it's still a good idea to replace the charge pipe but I mean, if they're just gonna replace it for free, why not? Oh, and there's a program they got for your oil changes for 36 months, 225 one-time payment. 
and they'll do your oil changes for the next 36 months, no mile cap. So for shizzle, I'm gonna do that. Take care of that, my boy. I'm gonna go ahead and get that, my boys and girls, men and women. Whoever's watching this video, I think that's a really good deal. So if you got a BMW, go see Eduardo over there at Advantage BMW in service. He'll take real good care of you, for sure. All right, now, time to focus. I mean, I've been focused, I've just been talking. That's why you only been seeing the steering wheel. But uh, yeah, let's go.